in the Bible, the time of the end is a period of one lifespan that leads up to the return of Christ uh, and the establishment of his kingdom. It is outlined in scripture by the seven seals of Revelation. In this presentation, we're going to talk about where we are in 2017. First seal, the rider on the white horse held a bow. He was given a crown and he rode out as a conqueror bet on conquest. The second seal, rider on the red horse, was given power to take peace from the earth and make men kill each other. To him was given a great battle. The rider on the black horse held the balance and damaged wheat and barley. The rider on the pale horse was given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague. The Bible tells us what a horse and rider is in Exodus 15. It also tells us where these horses and riders come from in Zechariah chapter 6. The white horse goes to the west. The red horse goes to the east. The black horse to the north and the pale horse to the south. When Christ removes the seal, the white horse comes out. And what happened was 9-11. And God's people remained asleep after that. It was also prophesied in Isaiah chapter 9. George W. Bush rode out as a conqueror. I was the rider on the white horse of Revelation's first seal. On 9-11, I was holding a bow and was given a crown. Then I rode out as a conqueror, determined to conquer. Prophecies Fulfilled on Bush's Watch was Revelation 6, 1 and 2, and Habakkuk 1, 5 through 15. The USA is the white horse. George W. Bush was its rider. When the red horse comes out, Iran, they will be given power to take peace from the earth. This is the second seal. Khomeini, I am the rider on the red horse of Revelation's second seal. I've been given power to take peace from the earth and cause men to kill each other. P.S. Death to America and Israel. We're in the time of the end. The first seal is open and the second seal is next. It's 2017 and we're waiting for the Iran war to take place. When it does, we're going to be in extreme financial danger by our creditors, as outlined in Habakkuk 2.7. China and Russia will bring down the U.S. dollar, which will have a tremendous impact on the U.S. stock market. Also, all God's people will wake up. The parable of the ten virgins says they're all asleep, and then they all wake up suddenly. God has called his church to wake up. When this happens, will not all the nations and the people taunt him with ridicule and scorn? Why will they taunt him? The Iran war? Perhaps. When the U.S. creditors make us tremble? Certainly. Habakkuk 2.7 tells us who the end-time Babylonians are. When God's people wake up and realize what they've been taught about what the Bible says is not what the Bible says, they'll have to turn to the Bible to see what God actually says. Remember, they were all asleep, and when this happens, they will all wake up. The church will not wake up until after the second seal of Revelation, when the Iran war starts and the economic crisis ensues. After the Iran war, we're going to see Daniel's prophecies of the statue in the Middle East and Asia start to form. The kingdom with the ten toes of made of iron and clay. 
These are possibly the ten nations that will unite that form the original prophecy in Daniel. But after the Iran War, they will come together. And when they come together, a new leader in Iraq will come to power. His name is Muqtada el Sadr. And as this Antichrist fourth beast kingdom arises, this is a warning sign that the third seal of Revelation is soon to come. When Christ removes the third seal, a black horse comes out. The third seal represents Russia and a war on the USA. Fortunately, by now, the church is all awake. Russia is the black horse. Revelation's third seal is a conflict between the U.S. and Russia. Putin. It's true. I may be the rider on the black horse. In my hands is the balance of power. When Revelation's third seal opens, I will attack the U.S., damaging wheat and barley, which will cause wheat and barley prices to soar. This is recorded in Revelation 6. It's the third seal. The rider on the black horse is north of Israel. He will, he will damage wheat and barley. These are the four horses, which represent the armies of the nations of U.S., Iran, Russia, and Egypt. These are the likely riders of the four horses. George W. Bush, that prophecy is fulfilled. Khomeini, that's the Iran war, the next prophecy, followed by the third seal, Russia, and then Egypt. I watched as Yehovah, Yeshua opened up the third seal. There was a white horse, a rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror, but on conquest. Then the rider on the red horse came out, and he was given power to take peace from the earth and make men kill each other. To him was given a great battle. Then the third seal opened, and a black horse came out, and its rider was holding a pair of scales. And I heard a day's wages for a day's barley, and a day's wages for a day's wheat. But do not damage the oil and the wine. Vladimir Putin. I'm Richard Perry, and this is what the Lord has shown me about the time of the end. From the beginning to the end. It's 2017, and this is where we are just before the Iran War begins. When the Iran War begins, praise the Lord, all ten virgins will wake up and hopefully turn to the Bible to see what God is really saying, because they're not going to hear it from man. And Yehovah, God of the Bible, does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. These are my first three books, written in 2003, 2006, 2009. In 2010 and 11, I wrote a Watchman's Guide series that covered all the major topics of the time of the end. These are all available through Amazon.com in both softcover and digital format. The last two books are about the time of the end and Yehovah's ways are eternal. I am Yehovah who foils the signs of the false prophets and makes fool of diviners, who overthrows the learning of the wise and turns it into nonsense, and who carries out the words of his servants, 